Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed a tutorial on this fresh, peachy, spring makeup look, and wow, I really suck at describing the looks that I do, but anyway, it's just like the perfect look for spring, and I finally got around to using my Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. I've had that since it launched last year in like April, I think, and I've only used it like one other time. And I actually really like it. I really wasn't expecting to like it after I heard all the negative reviews. Let me tell you, in the middle of the video when I tasted it, I was shook. I was shook. Like, I did not expect it to taste like that. So, yeah, but I'm going to stop rambling because I don't really like having long intros in my videos. Let me know what you guys like better if you'd rather have me talk a little bit more or just get straight to the point. But anyway, if you'd like to see how I achieve this look, then please just keep on watching. To start this look, I'm going to be priming my face using my Too Faced Camera Works Primer and also this Makeup Primer Step 1 Skin Equalizer Smoothing Primer. Ever since I got back from LA, I've been having really weird skin problems. Like, I've been breaking out and my pores have gotten a lot bigger around my nose and like my cheeks right next to my nose. So, I'm just going to be applying my Too Faced Camera Works Primer like I normally would and filling in my pores with the Makeup Primer Step 1 Equalizer. With the smoothing primer, I just kind of tap it into the areas where my pores are big and then I kind of pull it down and I just find that for me, that method makes it fill in the best and makes my skin the most smooth looking. For foundation, I'm just going to be using my Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick in the shade 125. And I know I use this a lot, but I'm redoing my room as I think I've said in a few videos. And my makeup is literally all over the place and I just got back from LA. So just bear with me for a little while longer and I'll be trying out new products. I'm going to get the Armani Power or Powder Fabric, I don't know what it's called, and restock my Luminous Silk. So I will be showing new foundations very soon. Everyone always talks about blending foundation down to your neck, which is obviously important. You don't want like a foundation line, but it's also important to blend it onto your ears and into your hairline because that line is just as noticeable as it would be on your neck. I'm going to be concealing and highlighting my nose, under eyes, forehead, chin, and a cupid's bow with my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Fair and Neutral. I'm going to be setting my face with my Laura Mercier Lose Translucent Powder. I'm also going to be baking under my eyes. For bronzer, I'm going to be using my Makeup Forever Pro Bronze Fusion in 25i. And again, I did want to use my NARS Laguna bronzer today, but it is packed up. I have no idea where it is, but I will be using new products very soon. Contour my face and my nose, I'm going to be, of course, using my Makeup Peak Infidelity and Bad Habit Contour Powders, and I just put in a new Z palette for when I travel to LA. Let me know if you want to see like how I pack and travel with my makeup kind of video, because I actually, for the amount of makeup I have, narrow it down a lot, and I'm pretty good at packing it, so just let me know if that's something that you would like to see on my channel. I'm using this blush by Dose Cosmetics in the shade number 48, and it's just this really pretty, like, spring peachy blush, which is my absolute favorite shade to wear. When I was in LA, I got this new highlighter that I'm going to be using today. It's the LA Girl Strobe Light Strobing Powder in the shade 100 Watt. Before I highlight my face, I'm just going to be using my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray to take away any extra powder cakiness and to make my makeup last all day long.
The first palette I'm going to be using for my look today is the Kylie Royal Peach Palette. I'm going to be taking this creamy shade in Sorbet just to use as my transition. Next I'm going to be going in with is Peachy. I'm going to be buffing that into my crease and building it up. I'm also going to be applying another shade on top of that. So if it's not too intense, that's fine. There's going to be another shade going on top. I'm going to be going to the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette and using the shade Candy Peach and just building that on top of the peachy shade from the Kylie Palette. The shade does have a little bit of shimmer in it and I do not like putting shimmer in my crease at all so I'm not adding too much but I'm just adding enough to make it more intense. my lid, I'm going to be going to the Violet Voss Holy Grail palette and using this gold shade which is called Awesome Sauce. Since I want this to be a very fresh, bright makeup look, I'm going to be using my Tarte Interim Liner just to brighten up my waterline and make myself look more awake. For my inner corner and brow bone, I'm going to be using this white shimmery shade crystal from the Violet Boss Holy Grail palette. And I'm also going to be mixing that with this shade Nectar from the Sweet Peach palette. It's just like a very pale gold. It's literally impossible for me to use this palette without smelling it every time I go get a new shade. It just smells so good and it tastes like peaches. I don't know what I expected it to taste like. I kind of expected it to taste like all my other makeup. Like the like the translucent part is when it gets in my mouth. Oh shit, this tastes like chocolate! That is so cool. I don't know why I'm sitting here tasting my makeup, but that is really cool. I did not expect it to actually taste like it smells. I'm not going to be wearing any winged liner today just because I want this to be like a very fresh face, simple look as I think I've said probably 500 times by now. But for lashes, I'm just going to be using the Ritzy Cosmetics Lashes in the style Posh. And these are now available. I just realized because they just launched that in my smoky winged liner tutorial they weren't out yet. So now they are out and I will leave my discount code somewhere down here as well as in my description box. my lips, I'm going to be using the Kylie Mini Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Apricot. And this did become a permanent full-size shade either today or yesterday, but I know that is permanent, so if you would like to get this color, you still can. I'm going to be topping that off with the Sephora Collection Lip Gloss in the shade number 3 Natural Look. I do not like that lipstick at all. It is so sticky and patchy, but I mean the color looks nice. And that's all that there really is to this look. It's just a very, very basic spring summer makeup look. I did want my first spring summer tutorial to be too crazy so I just went in with pretty basic peach and gold shades but I do have some more crazier looks planned. If you have any requests at all like I would love them just leave them in the comments down below. I don't have any spring clothes because my spring clothes from last year don't fit me anymore and I literally just ordered last night 
a peachy kind of like jacket like it looks exactly like this shade right here on the peach palette and it kind of gave me the inspiration for this look but obviously it's not here so I just had to go with a neutral kind of sweatshirt but I would have really preferred to wear this with a peachy kind of jacket and like a nude cream dress or a tank top depending on where I was going and I don't know why but I feel really chatty today so I'm just gonna go ahead and end the video here if you enjoyed this tutorial then make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn my notifications so when I upload my next video you won't miss out bye